Okay, so you may have seen videos popping up on social media showing two competitors taking turns forcefully slapping each other. Those kind of official events can happen here in Texas. KXAN's Will Dupree reports now on the recent decision by state regulators and the alarm bells this is raising among doctors. Watching one of these brutal slap fights in person usually requires a trip to Las Vegas. You have to prove you can have a good defense as well. That's where Hayden Southall from Dallas has gone twice now to compete. It's pretty cool to just go out there and show how tough you are. So uh, most people can see that when you get hit as hard as you can. He could get to square off like this closer to home after this July vote from Texas regulators. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, thank you. The state now officially recognizes and can license slap fighting. Supporters say regulating it will improve safety, like requiring doctors and paramedics at events. Ironically, uh, commissioners, slap fighting is a lot more safer than other sport combats that go on throughout not only Texas, but in the United States. Texas now follows Nevada, California, and Florida in regulating slap fighting. And that is alarming to the Brain Injury Association of America. The organization's medical director emeritus wrote these fights are, quote, a real-time laboratory for sustaining a traumatic brain injury. There is no safe way to host an event like this. Texas regulators still need to work on approving final rules, and they do not expect any official fights to happen in the state this year. Depending on your injury at the end of your fight, the, the doctors will look you over and they'll sign off on how long you have to recover for before you could even think about practicing, training, or doing another fight again. Hayden Southall has no slap fights on the books. Instead, he's focusing on his main passion, sumo wrestling. Will Dupree, KXAN News. Okay, the fighter we mentioned is on the roster for Power Slap, which is an affiliate of the UFC. It's now a register, registered combative sports promoter here in Texas, and it wrote on social media after the state regulators vote, Power Slap is headed to Texas. And to give you a little more insight here, a man died in 2021 after competing in a slap event in Poland. This is according to the Poland Daily 24. Archer Walczak was known for his strength in his country. The event that cost him his life called punch down five. The Poland Daily also says the slap caused Walczak to suffer a stroke. The brain damage was so severe, doctors decided to put him into a drug-induced coma, which he never woke up from.